when it comes to finding relevant research papers, book chapters, abstracts, reviews, or thesis, Google Scholar is often the first choice of researchers. But the problem is most of us are not aware of the features that Google Scholar offers for free, which can make our life much easier. Hi, I am Dr. Abhishek and you are watching research and publishing series of Explore Bio. In today's video, you will learn some of the most useful features of Google Scholar that will help you perform literature search better, create a literature library, manage your publications, get citation information, export references, and creating publication alerts to get notified about the latest research on your topic of interest. So I request you all to watch the entire video. The first part of the video is about searching the literature and refining your search. So first go to the Google Scholar. It is a search engine for scholarly articles. This is how the web page looks like. The first thing you can do with Google Scholar is search for a specific keywords for which you want to find relevant articles. You can sort articles based on the year of publication. For example, you want to shortlist papers published since 2019. You can see all the papers are published during or after 2019. Similarly, you can perform a custom year search. You can also sort papers based on their date of publication. To further fine tune your search and get more specific publications, you can perform an advanced Google search. For example, here I want to look for exact phrase that too only in the title of the paper. You see, I got a very specific paper for this. You can modify the criteria and look for keywords anywhere in parts in the title. If you want to get publications of a specific author on the topic during a particular period, you can do that too. The next important feature about Google Scholar is getting related articles. You can click on related articles if you want to find more papers on the similar topic. Here we got 93 related results. You can check which one of these are of your interest. If you have noticed, you can see number of papers citing a particular paper. You can click on it to find out which other studies have cited this particular study. This might help you to find more related papers and also other keywords that you may use to make a Google Scholar search. Choosing right keywords is very very important. You see, using one set of keywords I got lacks of records. And using a more relevant or specific keyword, the results got reduced. You can play around with the keywords and advanced search options to find out most suitable papers, abstracts, reviews, and thesis. The next part is getting the full paper. Clicking on the individual paper will redirect you to the journal website. If the paper is open access, you can access the entire article. But for non-open access or subscription journals, you cannot read or download entire papers. To access such articles, you either need to pay a fee, which of course most of the students could not afford. You may also check out with the libraries if they can provide you the access. But if you want to know what are the other ways of accessing the full article for free, I have shared all possible ways in my another video. The next part is creating a profile and managing your publications. If you create your account on Google Scholar, it will help you maintain a record of all your publications at one place. You can see how many times each of your paper is cited. You can also check out the citation index. 
To learn more about citation index and their importance, you can watch this video. If some of your articles are missing, you can manually add them as I am showing here. Choose what type of article it is. Enter its title, authors, publication date, journal details and other such information. Similarly, you can mention chapters, books, theses and others. The next important feature of Google Scholar is creating your library and exporting references. You can save papers on one particular topic to a particular folder as I am showing here. Once you have saved the selected folders, you can check them under My Library. For citing them in your research paper, you can export them all as refmen or other reference format file. I personally like Zotero for managing my references and citing them in my papers. You can import the exported reference file to the Zotero. Zotero is free and easy to use software. To learn how to use Zotero, I have compiled everything in this video tutorial. You may check it out later. Also, if you have just few papers to cite for a document, you can get commonly used citation style from Google Scholar itself. Just click on Cite and copy one of these citation style in your document. Another most useful feature of Google Scholar is that you can create an email alert for the topic of interest using a set of relevant keywords. You can set multiple alerts for different topics and as soon as the paper is published and added to the Google Scholar library, you will receive an email notification. This way, you remain updated about the recent research related to your topic of interest. So that's all for the today's video. My purpose of making these videos is to help researchers like you to improve the research experience and make it easier. You can check out my entire research and publication series to learn what I have learned during my past 12 years of research. If interested, you can also go through the other playlists like techniques, genomics, markers, plant tissue culture, nutrition and health and lot more. Comment below for your suggestions. I will definitely consider them to improve myself and help you. Thanks and see you in my next video.